Gautropolis, a brief history. Zero Night is a catastrophic event that occurred during the 2036 Joburg Pretoria Olympics in South Africa when radical cyber terrorist group Humans Opposing Technocracy Enslavement Programs or HOTEP detonated electromagnetic explosives called E-bombs planted on top of communication towers in Gauteng province crippling the province's electronic infrastructure for months and causing thousands of instant deaths. People of the world, you have hidden behind the protection of technology. Technology is a cancer. I am here to liberate you from this cancer. The world must be reset to its natural state. And I am your savior. A nanosecond after zero night, the entire province's electricity grid, including all backup generators, were knocked out, creating a devastating domino effect. Hospitals and ambulances became death traps as patients on life-supporting machines died immediately. Traffic lights and car engines were neutralized, creating car pileups stretching for hundreds of kilometers on the highways, while aircraft unable to communicate with airports crashed into buildings and each other falling to the earth like burning meteorites. After a few hours, riots broke out as everyone realized all digital info, such as bank balances stored in local hard drives, USB flashes, and computer servers were permanently deleted. A few days later, hungry sports hooligans of all nationalities were looting supermarkets and petrol stations, killing each other for fuel, food, and water in the burning streets of Pretoria and Johannesburg. At the push of a button, Africa's technology and economic hub was taken back to the Stone Age by e-bombs which fried the internal components of devices powered by microchips and electricity. TVs, computers, radios, refrigerators, telecommunications, transportation, medical machines, internet, all fried. The stench of decomposing corpses and meat rotting in fridges, combined with the odor of burnt electrical wiring hung in the air for weeks. The usual background hum of Africa's industrial center, silenced and replaced by millions of people screaming for the light of technology to return and restore order to the chaos. The world demanded aid. Help finally arrived in the form of RAND Artificial Intelligence Network, or RAIN, developed by robotics company Azanian Technology, better known as Aztec. Intelligence. Artificial intelligence. The artificial intelligence, uh, as you know, is a technology that makes machines effective. The advantage of artificial intelligence is that it does not have the human behavior that in many ways compromises governance. RAIN, a non sentient AI computer network, launched less than three months after Zero Night to manage the rebuilding of Gauteng from the electronic ashes left behind by the hotel attacks. 88 nights after the E-bombs detonated, Gauteng was back online as Gautropolis, Africa's first state-of-the-art city-state, enclosed by a massive 10-meter-high wall and boasting its own electronic currency, social credit system, microchip citizens, and a 24-7 driverless transport system, all wirelessly interconnected via the RAIN computer. Gautropolis also became the capital of a new nation reborn, United Federation of Zaid Africa. But behind the city's dazzling high-tech glamour, lay dark secrets hidden in its shadows.
the end. Gautropolis, a brief history. First written by Max Ntite in 2017. Narrated by Max Ntite in 2022. To show support, please click on the accompanying links or follow me on Twitter at Max Ntite where you will receive updates on the latest info concerning book two of the Gautropolis series. Thank you so much for listening. Peace.